Your Excellency, Madam Monica Jaquera, First Lady of the Republic of Malawi. Your Lord, Lordship, the Chief Justice Andrew Nurenda, SC, and all judges of the Supreme and High Courts of Malawi here present. Your Honor, Dr. Salas Klaus Chilima, Vice President of the Republic of Malawi, and Madam Mary Chilima. Your Excellency, Dr. Joyce Banda, former President of the Republic of Malawi, and Justice Richard Banda, SC, retired. Your Honor, Dr. Nevers Mumba, former Vice President of the Republic of Zambia. Your Honor, Catherine Gotanhara, MP, Speaker of the National Assembly, of Malawi and all the members of parliament here present. Justice Dr. Chifundo Kachali, Chairperson of the Malawi Electoral Commission and the commissioners here present. Your Excellency George Gune, High Commissioner of the Republic of Mozambique and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps. Your Excellencies, Heads of Mission, Honorable Eisenhower Mkaka, Secretary General of the Malawi Congress Party, and all members of the Malawi Congress Party here present. Honorable Patricia Kaliati, Secretary General of the UTM, and all members of the UTM here present. Honorable Leaders of the Alliance Partners, and all members of the Tonsi Alliance here present. Mr. Cliff Chunda, Principal Secretary, Administration in the Office of the President and Cabinet, and all the senior government officials here present. Your Worship, Councillor Juliana Kaduya, Mayor of the City of Lilongwe, and all the councillors here present. Paramount chiefs and all the traditional leaders here present. Former President of the Malay Congress Party, Honorable Dr. John Tembo and Mama Sita Mandakadam Kazamira here present. All the religious leaders here present. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Fellow Malawi citizens, to stand before you as your president today is an honor. It's an honor that fills me with unspeakable joy and immense gratitude. It's an honor forged in the furnace of your desire and your demand for change. It's an honor crafted by your hand when you braved the winter chill to cast your vote. It's an honor that has reignited the dream of our nation's founders of a new Malawi. When the founders of Malawi emerged from the womb of the great struggle that birthed our independence in 1964, the dream was not merely for us to be freed from oppression, When their children marched against the one-party state to birth our democracy in 1993, the dream was not merely for us to be freed from tyranny. 
The dream that binds us together is for us to enjoy shared prosperity, not just freedom. For of what use is freedom from oppression if you and I are slaves to starvation? Or freedom from colonialism if you are a slave to tribalism? Of what use is freedom from tyranny if you are a slave to poverty? No. The dream for all of us together to be the ones who enjoy the riches of Malawi soil, to be the ones who make the products of her industries, to be the ones who harvest the bounties of her fields, to be the ones who are served by her taxes, and to be the ones who raise the skylines of our cities. Today, we too have emerged from the great struggle and marched our soul feet towards this moment of victory and justice for us all. But unlike our forebears, we have done so not just because we have a dream, we have done so because the time has come for us to go beyond dreaming. We all must wake up because this is a time to arise from slumber and to make our dream come true. Dr. Chilima and I accept this challenge and task. We will pursue it, not just as servants accountable to you voters, but as stewards of the hopes of millions of children, born and unborn, who have no vote. With your help, we will restore a new generation's faith in the possibility of having a government that serves. Not a government that rules, a government that inspires, not a government that infuriates, a government that listens, not a government that shouts, a government that fights for you and not against you. Now, I'm no stranger to the benefits of good government. Although I was raised in a poor village like most Malawians, raised without inherited riches or political connections like most Malawians, raised without electricity or running water like most Malawians, I stand here today because I had one of the blessings of God that a young Malawian today does not have. The blessing of growing up in a well-governed Malawi. So I pledge to run Malawi well, for that is the surest path to Tsogorolabuino, a path that has long been in ruins, riddled with the potholes of greed and corruption, and in making this pledge, I'm accepting this call to serve you with joy and holy fear. For I am duty bound by God and to God and all of you to give you my best. However, I know that there are many of you who did not vote for me in this election and perhaps the prospect of my presidency fills you with fear and grief. But I want you to remember one thing. This new Malawi is a home to you too. 
And so long as I am its president, it will be a home in which you too will prosper. I only ask of you for one this thing in return, to give Dr. Chilima and I a chance to earn your trust and make this win a win for all of us. And those of you that celebrate, celebrate with the humaneness that all Malawians deserve so that we have the magnanimity of celebrating a victory that is not for one man, not for one woman, not for one party, not for one group, but for all of us together. That is how we will fulfill the dream of Malaiwa Tsobano Wokomiratonse. And God bless you and God bless Malawi. Nkutega mwina onabanda onapiro juvanao is lagambazi. Dinne na mwajidule. Udule mwumene inunosa malai mwadipata. Kuti ine na chilima. Tikutumi kireni. Ndiule mwumene. Wadzera njira zosia na siana. Kwa mauli ncholu miki za chimozi. Ndiye kukumba. Kwa inunosa malai. Meneti nkafunia kutili sakale pansi pa tamunda Tika indufuru watu watu Meneti nkafunia kutili tisamazu zike Bokala nipo wa malachipa nichi moti Chon seda jiti la zimenezi li moti Kwa meizi sisi tandiza ngaritizi gona njala Osa liya katatu batiku Sisi tandiza zimenezi Gaduole mirazi kala uweringeka uweringa kumanja Malomoti tonse tigawane chuma cha tzikolino Dimisonko ya tzikolino Sisi litandiza zimenezi ferika mango funa kutika tangale Dikuba Diezi zila midu wa mtiko Sisi litandiza Kuti malai watsopa anoko mela ife tonse Ateke Bamene Tilindu mpai wosa simbika Nchifuaja angele ero Chiluyamba Chabuta la jatsopano Chambiri ya tzikolatu Inenda kuli la kumojitu Inelaza alo mwana wa enesi Na maleni Oia Odabila galo ntomeo Kwa manda kuli la kumoji Chikuli meneni maona magetsi ni mapita kusekondari Kwa panda mazi, ameneti maa mwanga jiwa patapu. Kwa manta imene yon nalini mwayu, mene ya malawiwe na mwonga ino wana mulipo lelo, mulije. Nida nini mwayu, wote ni koza upira kushukuru, ni koza kupuzira, chifuazi ntuzumenda mdondomeko, ya kutinga kare, ife ameneti naliku mizi, ulisha ngombe, tidapa chilo mpata, wote ni koza ukala na oso. Lero nkuma imanga di malo otere Dari sulamtu numene utilipatse kwa wana watu wansi na zuguru watu wansi Ndi wansi amene analije mpada wada koza kufora nao Nga kare masanko ya Tere kupa nopa nuntuntu milani manta kwa masondi na wachi mwemwe Chifuazi menu nkula nkula nisi nuziwa kutisi nkungu wana uza inu ndu uza nso cha uta Amene walola kutile ronkozu ima pa malopano Nkulumbi ila kutindi kutumikile Nuziwa kutiwe na maanta kukwilani Chifuwa mujuni vote la nao Teko sumu ziwa kutikuwa tija kwe layo ndia kutati tani 
Kiga magamba za malai wako melatonse Inuso mulimo mwemo Chimeleti kumba ife nkuti Tonse di gwirizane Kumanga malai watso pano Kuma zakuba yae, zakata ngale yae Tidimbikitse uto kuleli Kumene utu mikile mwona mtima Kwa chatea manamulo watu Ngati musa ngalala kumuziko sangalala ni buino buino kwa maosa menyana yae Kwa maino amene muona ngati mulibeji fukwa jyo sangalala ila Musaraye mtima Inanashi lima Tiesa etsa kuti inuso muti kulupi lile Chifuwa kupambana u Tufuna kukale kupambana kwa malawi wansi Osa liwa mtu mozi Kapena chibani chimozi Kapena kululi mozi Kwa matonsi ya Malawi, mene tiririmu. Tikatero ndiye kuti malota Malawi watsopano kwa mene tonsi, atekadi. Ambuya kudaliceni, ambuya daliceni ziko la Malawi. Ziko. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Malawi, Dr. Lazarus Makathi Chakwera, the Vice President of the Republic of Malawi, Right Honorable Salos Klaus Chilima, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are moving closer to the end of our program for this morning. As it was in the beginning, so it shall be in the end. Again, I will call upon Honorable Lady Justice Annabelle Mtalimanja to come forward to close with a word of prayer. After her ladyship has offered a word of prayer, I would ask each and every one of us to stand to sing the Malawi National Anthem. Thereafter, we shall sit down and I shall explain the exit formalities from Malawi Square. My lady. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we come again with thanksgiving to honor you, Lord, for this moment that you have allowed all of us to witness as power transitioned Father, we thank you because your word says whatever is bound in, on earth is also bound in heaven. So we are thankful for what you have done for this nation of Malawi. We are thankful, Lord, for the president, Dr. Lazarus Chakwera, and the vice president, Dr. Saulos Chilima, who have stood here in your presence and in the presence of man, and they've taken the oath of office, they have pledged, Lord, to serve you and to save man, to save Malawi, Lord, and to defend the Constitution. Father, as they have spoken with their mouth, as they have declared with their own mouth, our asking, Lord, is that you are going to help them to honor this oath in the name of Jesus. We are thankful, Lord, because you have provided us the power of the Holy Spirit who is our helper, who is the one who guides us in all things. In this moment, Lord, we are commending them to you in the name of Jesus. We are committing them to you, Father, that you shall help them to indeed serve you and to serve Malawi as they have pledged. Father, we know it is not an easy job. We know it is not an easy assignment. But thank you because your word promises us that your grace is sufficient. Your word, Lord, promises us that it is not by might nor by power, 
but it is by you, Holy Spirit. And so we are praying your anointing upon their lives in the name of Jesus. We are praying you are going to order your step, their steps according to your word. Father, you promised that the steps of a righteous man are ordered of you. And you also promised that you perfect all that which concerns our lives. Father, may you perfect all that which concerns their lives as they purpose to fulfill this ass assignment that they have stood up for. May you help us, O oh Lord, as a people. May you help us to help them. Holy Spirit, may you provide them with wise counsel. May you surround them with people that are going to give them wisdom. Most of all, Father, our praying this morning is that you're going to grant them wisdom that comes from you. Your word tells us that if any of you lacks wisdom, we must ask of you. So we are standing as a nation and we are asking for wisdom that you are going to imbue them with your divine wisdom, just like you granted Solomon. Father, we also pray you are going to grant them knowledge and understanding, just like you granted Daniel. Father, we pray for your peace that surpasses all understanding, to be the guard of their minds, O oh God. Father, we know the journey ahead of them is long, but we know you are a faithful God and you always bring to completion that which you have started. We pray for our land, Malawi, that you shall keep it a land of peace. In the name of Jesus, we pray all this with thanksgiving. Amen.